Hello, Unreal Studios of an another Minecraft episode. Today I'll be showing you how to do a combination lock. Okay, so this is about the sixth time trying to record this. And I have got a new mic. So that's three. One second, I'm just going to turn the sound down a bit. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So I'm gonna put buttons on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Because that's how many buttons I'll be using for this combination lock. Okay. So, I want this one, these two to be the resets, and this one, this one, and this one to be the ones that you need to push. So, I'll make that go a bit further, just give myself some space, and that one go a bit far. So, I'm just going to do a combination lock. Well, not combination, sorry, I used the wrong word there. It was memory cell, that's it. Okay. Um, probably best off if I make it go the other way. Okay, and last memory cell. That's probably a bit too close. I think on this world alone, there's about five, four, four different, um. Four different mem uh, combination locks, all because the recording messed up, and I had to go look for some more flat land. Hopefully, this time it will work. Okay, that's supposed to be on, which is right. That's supposed to be on. That's right, and that's supposed to be on, which is right. Okay, so if I hit the ah, oh, wait, Minecraft decides to fuck itself, and. Just give it some time. This is why I hate Java. Works Java. Work. Okay, cool. Wait. Wait. Yes, okay. So these two, this one and this one. Actually, just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to quickly turn down the render distance. Maybe that will help and actually scratch that that's better okay so um if you hit this one button or this button it will they those two are linked up so i want that to reset this block here so that when this block that torch is on i want it to go off because it inverts it. And so nice and straightforward, just do that. Okay, and then I want this part here, that that part there, to go underneath. Just give me two seconds. Come on, come on, Java. Not the right time. Okay. Okay, so if I make that go underneath, bang, bang, bang. Okay, now just extend it back in case it runs out. Okay, that should be far enough. And uh, so that's one, one memory cell down. Now I need to do the next one pretty simple just make it go over it and then down again so I need it to reset that block like that give myself more redstone up 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 up, up. down again okay 
just extend that just in case always making sure that the 15 block limit doesn't exceed okay now I need to do it to this last one and uh, I'm going to quickly just do that and no Minecraft you're not going to do this while I'm recording okay much better oh no 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 it is doing oh wait no it starts to do itself again lovely I hate witnessing this moment especially when I'm recording okay so this part here coming up from that part connects up and goes over here somewhere maybe that'll work okay um well I know that's gonna exceed the limit and I might as well just make sure again so um put that back down okay so if I leave right that will reset it that will turn it on and that will send the energy over to there okay now I need to uh, oh no 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 wait just for minecraft to finish finish doing what it wants to much better okay um then I need a reset to come over here and do that so I will just make it nice and simple and do that and extend it while I'm at her that's not 15 blocks okay yep that should work fine now I just need to link it up I've used this in my previous tutorials whoopsies and uh, this is uh, just the gate where you need two inputs for one output which means this will be the output and I will need to connect this over here like that okay so that's the same thing as that except it's just it's just what you need to open the door just let minecraft finish what it's doing okay might just better and uh, finally I'm just gonna link this up to the door and put that down put that down make sure the limit doesn't finish and let's test, test it out right so I'm just gonna go over it again those two that I oh wait note wrong ones those two other resets because they're both linked up so that'll go over there over there and yeah do whatever oh wait no it goes over there and then over there and resets that I'll start from the beginning so if you hit that button this is it same as applies to that one and that one so if you hit that button goes over there uh, inverts that torch turns it off turns that one on when that one turns on it'll go underneath all the way along here and invert that and then uh, for this one I mean for this one it will go all the way across invert that one turn that one on go underneath all the way along here invert that torch and then for this one it will go just along there invert that torch and then uh, turn that torch on send power to that and then that will invert that torch except making that a power one because that's two inputs for an output and then that energy goes over there turns that tor torch off by inverting it turns that tor torch on and then sending it over there and onto that door 
Okay. So, let's just test if this works. I want to hit this button. This button. And this button. And the door is open. So, let's just test if the resets work. Gonna go up so you can pay attention on the door. There you go. Then if I just do it again to test it for the second one. Now it's open. Now it's closed. I hope you learnt something out of this tutorial. And uh, I hope you like this new very, very expensive mic that I got. And thank you for watching. This has been Unreal Studios with Beanolf. Have a nice day. And please make sure your Java doesn't decide to fuck itself while you play Minecraft. Goodbye.